Do Petian Di Yen Yen Introduction www.zhaozhuyuan.com Since Xiao Yen broke through Do Di, all the different fires in the world are its origin. His blood is still boiling, and he and his strange fire will place a dazzling and destructive Buddha Fury Lotus on the Didi Continent Didi Continent, Xiao Yenxin's career Earth's second homeland, return. Do you think Do Di, Do Xian, Do Shen, or Ren Huang? Wrong. HTTPS forward slash forward slash www.zayashuan.com Chapter 1 Exotic Fire Gathering Spirit You are listening at NovelFull.audio Two years after the battle with the Soul Heavenly Emperor, Xiao Yan had regained his physical body without leaving any sequelae. Now that he had climbed to the summit, he felt bored and had to do something. So, an extremely terrifying idea was born in Xiao Yan's mind. To gather spirits for a different fire. Gamma Empire, Yudan City, Xiao Family Headquarters. At this moment, a person carrying a black giant ruler stood in the distance, murmuring, If I were to gather spirits for the fire of abyss, I don't know if the fire of abyss can have a star rating or if we can practice together like Xiao Yi. Before he could finish speaking, 20.2 flames of different colors surged out of Xiao Yan's body and suspended in the air, emitting low growls. In an instant, these flames converged again, only to see a pink doll stomping on the void. I saw Xiao Yi hovering slightly in the air and saying, they seem to be tired of this confused life. It would be great if you could gather your spirits for them. Xiao Yan heard this and quickly asked, will you disappear after gathering the spirits? IWA, I am already a fire spirit. After you gather spirits for them, I will just live in a different posture in the midst of the fire. Don't hesitate, gather spirits. Xiao Yan couldn't make up his mind. From the great Dou Master to the Dou Emperor, he was accompanied by a strange fire, walking step by step from the weak to the strong. Now that he has gathered his spirits, Perhaps he will bid farewell to the strange fires before Xiao Yan could finish thinking, Xiao Yi suddenly exploded in the air, with twenty-two different types of flames slowly spinning around him. Xiao Yan's eyes trembled as he watched this scene. Since he wanted to gather his spirits, let's come. Xiao Yan sat cross-legged, and the overwhelming spiritual energy converged from the sky into a towering vortex. Infinite spiritual energy poured into 20.2 flames of different colors. A familiar and kind figure in the distance looked at Xiao Yan. With a wave of his hand, an invisible barrier enveloped him for a hundred miles. The figure whispered, I'm really pleased. Are you trying something that no one else has done before? But for some reason, it feels like our parting days are not long. The massive spiritual vortex lasted for three days and three nights, and the thin figure sitting in a circle suddenly opened its eyes and stood up. With a muffled groan and a palm grip, the vortex of ten thousand miles suddenly dissipated, and with it came a thunderous thunder that covered the entire continent. I saw twenty point two different colored thunder flickering in the clouds, like a giant dragon wandering in the clouds. Xiao Yan knew that the laws of heaven and earth bound different fires, and doing so now would be against the heavens. Whether they can survive the thunder disaster can only depend on their own fate. Boom! Xiao Yan's face turned white, and his figure flickered slightly. He had reached 500 miles away, nervously watching as Lei Jie rushed towards the strange fire. In an instant, a deafening explosion caused half of the continent to roar, leaving only thunder and flames in the entire world. Xiao Yan nervously looked at the flickering flames between heaven and earth, his fingers clenched, and he prayed in his heart. This thunder disaster lasted for several days, and the colorful flames spread throughout the continent. Xiao Yan smiled with relief, and that was truly the scene of Emperor Tuoshegu becoming emperor in the past. Today's events will also be passed down to future generations, for those who gather spirits with different fires, only for Xiao Yan. Twenty-two strange fires gradually faded away, but the figures gradually increased. Xiao Yi was no longer there, and now all the strange fires are in human form, all of them are duty. 
The figure approached Xiao Yan and a brilliant blue figure spoke up, Do you know if my master knows me now? As he spoke, the blue flames shrank and opened, Xiao Yan smiled and said, You are the Qinglian Earth Heart Fire. My first strange fire, now that you have transformed into a human form, you naturally need a name. I don't know how to call you. The blue figure said, I think the name doesn't matter, I will always be your strange fire. Xiao Yan was deeply moved in his heart. Just as he was about to speak, the other strange flames also gathered around him and bowed to the ground, saying, We will always be your strange flames. In an instant, flames between heaven and earth began to sway, strange flames knelt down, and all flames were subdued. Emperor Yan Xiao Yan, gathering spirits for a different fire, will surely remain in the epic of Duki continent for a long time. Chapter 2 Listening to Emperor Fire You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. A few years after gathering spirits for the strange fire, for some reason, the wave sensation around Xiao Yan's body became stronger and stronger, as if he was about to leave this world, and the strange fires were no exception. Xiao Yan whispered a sentence that shook the world. This world can no longer meet my war. Torn needs, and this world also needs new rising people. I feel that another world is calling me. Friends, let's say goodbye. After speaking, Xiao Yan's fluctuations became increasingly intense with the passage of time. Later on, Xiao Yan's eyes suddenly opened, and a pillar of energy that pierced through heaven and earth shot out from its spiritual cover. Finally, under the gaze of the entire Zhongzhou, it rushed directly into the distant sky. Buzz! As this pillar of energy rushed out, the turbulent sky also became extremely intense. After a while, a light channel with a faint luster seemed to break free from the constraints of plain space and appeared under the gaze of countless gazes on the earth that day. Xiao Yan's blood boiled, and he could feel that there were countless Dou emperors behind the passage who were even stronger than him. He said warily, I, Xiao Yan, have come to the Dou Emperor's continent. With a flash of his figure, he arrived at the passage and sucked out several source gases, throwing them towards the Dou Qi continent. Friends, you can use these source gases. Goodbye to the Dou Di continent, he said after speaking, his figure disappeared at the entrance of the passage, and the 20.2 strange fires also disappeared. Yao Lao and the others felt as if something had disappeared from their hearts, but looking at those few sources of energy, their hearts were filled with excitement. The passage disappeared, and Xiao Yan inside let out a deep breath. In the dark eyes that had been calm for many years, there was also a surge of heat at this moment. The blood that had previously cooled down seemed to boil now. The pitch black air around was illuminated by a strange fire, and 3000 Yen Yen walked forward and said, Master, this should be the passage to the Didi continent. Without the power of stars, this should be a space. Xiao Yen said, Indeed, there is no vitality here. Before he could finish speaking, a strong aura spread across his face. Xiao Yan's face turned cold, and he punched straight ahead without any fancy moves. The punch was about to strike, and Xiao Yan let out a muffled roar, the eight extremities collapse. The force suddenly changed and collided with the energy, unscathed. Although Xiao Yan was angry, his attack was not malicious. He politely clenched his fists and said, Who is your excellency? I am Xiao Yan from the Xiao clan. I have just entered the duty space and have no grievances or grudges with you. Why did I attack? Upon hearing these words, the figure launching the attack in the distance was laughed and scolded by another person, it's my Xiao tribe's cub. What are you doing? You're itching and hitting me. The figure trembled and raised an eyebrow, saying, I'm not just because the clan leader said that my Xiao clan has a Dou Emperor again. I really want to see what kind of extraordinary talent this soaring person is, but his strength is really good. Upon hearing this, Xiao Yan furrowed his brows and clasped his fists, asking, Are these two seniors from the Xiao clan? The two figures approached, and a purple nine-stroke clan pattern stretched out on his forehead. 
A strong bloodline force made the clan pattern uncontrollably appear on Xiao Yan's forehead. Hee hee, now do you think we are members of the Xiao clan? Two figures walked up to Xiao Yan with a smile and patted his shoulder, saying, Good kid, you really give us the face of Xiao clan chief. Duki Continent has not produced duty for many years, and we all speculate that the source of Duki Continent has been extinguished. And you are the first one to come up on Duki Continent without source energy, even we have to admire you. Xiao Yan smiled and said, I was also lucky enough to be passed down by a senior. Suddenly, two figures pointed to the person next to Xiao Yan and said, Are you really lucky? Lucky, no one can bring so many duty up. Their aura is also a bit strange, which makes us all a little wary. Xiao Yan also suddenly looked at the 20.2 strange fires beside him. They were very close to Xiao Yan, so even the senior members of the Xiao clan were somewhat frightened. Moreover, these strange fires had spiritual intelligence and were even more terrifying than humans. These senior members didn't know it was normal. Xiao Yan smiled and didn't answer further. He just clasped his fists and asked, Do you know the names of the seniors? Xiao Chen. Find Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com Xiao Ba. Xiao Yan has met two seniors. Xiao Yan clenched his fists again, but how can we get out of this place? I really want to see the outside world. Xiao Chen waved his hand and said, Don't worry, you can go out soon, but how come your 20.2 friends have no one to pick them up? Xiao Yan said, They are with me. They are all my friends, but they are not human. What, they're not human? Are you doubting the eyesight of Xiao Chen and me, kid? We've lived for so many years and haven't seen anything before. Although they look a bit strange than ordinary people, they're still human. Xiao Yan smiled and said, They are really not humans. They are the strange flames of the Duki continent. I gathered spirits for them before they transformed into human form. Xiao Chen's face trembled slightly and he said, Are they strange flames? How dare you gather spirits for them? TSK TSK, our Xiao clan has really produced remarkable descendants. But I don't know if your strange fire is an imperial fire, so we still need to observe and observe it. Xiao Yan's eyes lit up as he heard this. He asked, What is emperor fire? But a flame stronger than a strange fire. Xiao Ba and Xiao Chen were not in a hurry to observe. Instead, they looked at the strange flames and sighed, It doesn't seem like it, but your martial arts are unparalleled in the world. You can even merge different fires. It's really amazing. Emperor Fire is a flame that carries its own source of energy, and once it enters the mortal world, it is a flame that is difficult for Dou Di to subdue. Although your extraordinary fire has reached the realm of emperor, its source of energy is pitiful. It is likely that the source of energy in Dochi continent has dried up, and it is difficult for heaven and earth to give birth to emperor fire. In this Dodi continent, a person wrote the emperor fire list, which consists of 30 types of emperor fires. The top 15 are even comparable to Do Xian, and the top 3 may have already left the realm of Do Xian, Probably all of them are Doshan. Chapter 3 Separation of the Xiao Clan You are listening at NovelFull.audio Isn't it true that even Emperor Do has a hierarchy? Xiao Yan asked. Xiao Ba sighed and said, Yes, the levels of the Duti continent are divided into Duti, Doshan, Doshan, and the Immortal Emperor. The Duti continent never lacks Duti, but now the highest point of the duty continent is only the nine-star duty. All right, let's not talk about this for now. Let's leave this space and take you out. We'll have to go back to the Xiao clan and report back, said Xiao Chen. Is the Xiao family divided into separate families? Xiao Yan couldn't help but ask, do we still divide our Xiao family into our own and separate families? The two seniors heard this and their expressions changed a bit. After a long time, they said, our Xiao clan has countless peak duty, but as they develop, their taste gradually changes. 
Most people believe that they are already native to the Diddy continent, and there is a difference between them and those who have risen from the lower world. Sai, let's go out first, and I will slowly learn from you. After speaking, Xiao Chen let out a sigh and waved his hand lightly. The surrounding space suddenly twisted and several figures quickly disappeared. The strange flames also became illusory until they dissipated, and the space returned to a dead silence. Xiao Yan's gaze flickered, and he realized that he had already stood on a huge stone. Xiao Chen and Xiao Ba were suspended in the air and said, The history of the Xiao clan is long. Our ancestors have flown from the Duki continent to this place, and they have passed down their lineage on this continent. They found that all the offspring they have born are Duti, so the Xiao clan's own family appeared in the history of the Xiao clan. Being born as Duti does not mean they are strong. The power used for extravagance does not actually belong to them, which has become a stumbling block for them to become strong. We have a solid foundation for dividing our families from Duki continent. Except for the old generation, the new generation cannot compete with us at all. However, the number of people who divide our families is too small, so we have to stay away from our own family and silently cultivate here, waiting for the descendants of Duki continent to come up to continue our family division. However, for many years, our family has already had millions of people, but our family division is only a hundred people. After listening to this, Xiao Yan lowered his head and sighed, we were originally one family, so how could we separate our own families? But since I am the one who separates our families, one day our families will eventually be stronger than our own. Upon hearing this, Xiao Ba took a step forward and patted Xiao Yan's arm, saying, You have ambition. However, Zhao's son, you are not considered a person to separate your family now. I have never wanted mediocrity in my family. You need to go and experience the mainland for 300 years. If you arrive at the Five Star Do Emperor in 300 years, you can come back to accept the ceremony, become a person to separate your family, and honor your ancestors for me. Little brat, don't leave your life outside. You have just joined the Do Emperor, and everything still needs to be honed. The two old men of mine can only tell you so much. When you arrive at the Five Star Do Emperor, Remember to come to the Heavenly Emperor Cliff, where I have been separated and passed down through generations. After speaking, the two of them transformed into two streams of light, disappearing into the sky, leaving only a lingering sound. Xiao Yan stood silently in place and murmured, I will definitely live up to my expectations. He turned to the strange flames and said, Everyone, now that you have gathered your spirits and become human beings, you definitely need to cultivate a system techniques, and combat skills. Do you want to practice with me? After Xiao Yan finished speaking, only a pink light flashed before the meeting, and he saw the Jinglian demon fire standing in front of Xiao Yan. He pointed to Xiao Yan and then to all the other abnormal fires, saying, Have you forgotten that we are your abnormal fires? If we were to talk about our martial arts, all of them would be burned. When the last word fell, Xiao Yan's heart beat fiercely, all of them were burning spells, so they could all devour Emperor Fire. Xiao Yan's fighting spirit surged and he laughed loudly, All right. Let's go together, but now you need to hide a bit. If someone detects that you are a strange fire, you may face great difficulties. Everyone, let's first gather in my spirit. If you need it, you can come out at any time. As soon as the words fell, Strange flames rushed into Xiao Yan's body without any resistance. Xiao Yan opened his hand, and the colorful flames leaped in his hand, a destructive force overflowing in every detail. He could feel that these were still his own powers, and then he looked up to the horizon and sighed softly, There is no teacher now, and we can only step by step on our own. When we first arrived at the Duty continent, we must first understand the surroundings. With a flash of his figure, he arrived at the entrance of a city, and saw a wave of evil energy carrying waves of cold air attacking Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan couldn't help but tremble. It was extremely lively ahead, and a group of mercenaries were sitting in a pile chatting and cursing, saying, Now we still need the Three Star Emperor to enter this checkpoint. I wonder if there is anything new inside. 
we, the one star emperor, may only be able to sleep in this wilderness for one night. The mercenary had just turned around and was about to leave the city gate when Xiao Yan shouted, Big brothers, please stay. I don't know what's happening ahead. Can I go in? The mercenary turned to look at Xiao Yan and jokingly said, You skinny and tender little guy dares to go in. It seems that you have just entered the Dou Emperor's realm, and even if you haven't grown enough hair, you dare to join in the fun here. Go home quickly, so as not to cause any trouble. Upon hearing these words, Xiao Yan retaliated with a contemptuous smile and said, Since the elder brothers also noticed that I had just joined the Dou Emperor, why not let me compete with them so that I can know my own strength and not be so arrogant? The mercenary saw Xiao Yan's appearance and chuckled angrily, saying, Okay, it's been a long time since I've seen such an arrogant young man. Let's have a sparring. As soon as he finished speaking, a silver light flashed from the soles of Xiao Yan's feet, and in just one breath, he reached the mercenary's eyes. He sought the slender palm of the book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com, which was like a woman's, and his strength suddenly changed. The eight extremes collapse. The fist was thrown without any fancy, and the mercenary dared not neglect it. His arms were wrapped around his chest, and a red light appeared. Only half of the force was released, and the remaining half was thrown into his body. However, the mercenary's muscles trembled, and the energy of the eight extremes collapse was thrown out. He's really an interesting guy, but just knowing these little insect carving skills is not enough. Before he could finish speaking, he saw that the surroundings had turned into a sea of flames at some point. The raging flames rushed towards the mercenaries like waves. The mercenaries immediately looked frightened, and the destructive power made him sweat profusely. He immediately shouted, I give up. The sea of flames suddenly froze and slowly retreated, and the mercenary collapsed on the ground, breathing heavily. The lush forest around him was now bare. Xiao Yan smiled and raised his foot to prepare for walking towards the city. Just as he was about to pass, a long spear fell from the sky and slanted into the ground. A handsome figure quietly appeared next to the spear and said, I just saw that you have good talent. Do you want to join our army? Xiao Yan said calmly, What are the benefits? The handsome figure said, I can take you to the city. Xiao Yan asked again, what are the benefits of entering the city? The person said, the reason why this city is closed is because an imperial fire suddenly descended on this place the day before yesterday. Come with me, and I will help you subdue the imperial fire. And I will go find my relatives, even if this city is burned down by the imperial fire for thousands of miles without anyone. Xiao Yan's heart skipped a beat upon hearing this. No wonder there was a malevolent aura and chill at the entrance of the city just now. It turned out that there was Emperor Fire in this city. Just as we arrived at the Duty Continent, Emperor Fire descended upon us, which was a great opportunity. Xiao Yan couldn't conceal his excitement, but he didn't show it. He said, Okay, I'll follow you and lead the way. Chapter 4 Eight Emperors Zero Illusionary Yen you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Two figures flashed and arrived at the gate of the city. Just as they were about to enter, they saw a city defender dressed in gilded armor blocking Xiao Yan and his companions. He spoke up, I am the commander-in-chief of the city defender's armor. Have you not seen the notice next to me? You are not allowed to enter or exit until you have reached the age of three-star duty. This military lord, I am the second young master of the Mileage family in this city, named Ching Tianyu. I have also joined the War Expedition Army this year and have the strength of the three-star duty. This is also my War Expedition Army. I wonder if the military lord can help me. I heard that the city has been ravaged by Emperor Fire, and I want to bring a helper to find my family. Oh, how can the young furry head who just joined the Dou Emperor be your helper? I won't let you two in because of your consideration. Ba Jia hummed. Thank you, Brother Bajia, for considering me, but I will definitely enter today. Xiao Yan heard that Bajia was cold outside and hot inside, 
and bowed his hand to discuss. Ha ha, that's good. If you win against me, I'll let you enter and exit the level. Ba Jia still didn't give in, saying. Okay, that's settled. Xiao Yan suddenly felt a surge of war in his eyes. He didn't have a good sense of the strength of the Didi continent yet, and this kind of sparring was an extremely useful experience. Brother Ba Jia, is it a bit of a big bully? How can Xiao Yan win with your three-star emperor's strength? Qing Tianyu spoke out from the side. That doesn't matter, Xiao Yan just agreed. If we can't win, it's good for him. As soon as he finished speaking, Xiao Yan suddenly stepped out, his majestic fighting spirit mixed with a hint of flames containing destruction rolling slowly beside him. In just one breath, he came to Ba Jia's side. Ba Jia's eyes narrowed and he said, Good kid, I underestimated you. But if I were to be defeated by you today, how could I stand in this city? Try my fighting skills, I won't keep my hands, I'll cut off a thousand times. Ba Jia suddenly had a burst of red light on his body, and his blood knife in his hand became even more brilliant. Xiao Yan's flesh trembled, surpassing all his heavenly level combat skills. What kind of combat skill is this? Xiao Yan's eyes froze as a blood red light approached him, and a thunderous sound echoed through the sky and earth. Qing Tianyu's face turned pale beside him. Ba Jia smiled and said, Little guy, you've already surprised me a lot, but you still lost. Just soak it in water when you go home. The dust slowly dispersed, and Ba Jia's face froze again. How could it be? You can still be unscathed. A figure wrapped in countless flames condensed into armor stepped out and smiled, I'm afraid the commander-in-chief of armor won't be able to keep me today. Ba Jia also smiled and said, You have already surprised me a lot. The last move is to determine the winner. Ba Jia stepped forward with his foot, and the big sword shook again. Countless energies from heaven and earth converged towards the big sword. Xiao Yan laughed and said, No matter what, I will pass by today. Xiao Yan extended his palm as if it were an unassuming woman, and a brilliant blue flame rose in his left hand. Ba Jia saw it and whispered, What do I mean? It turns out it's just a flame, but ordinary flames are of no use to me. Although he said so, even at such a distance, the flame still gave him a very dangerous feeling. Xiao Yan smiled lightly, extended his right hand, and a dark purple flame slowly rose up. Ba Jia cursed in his heart, how could two types of flames coexist in the human body? Xiao Yan's face turned pale. Since he had gathered the spirit of the strange fire, it took a lot of effort to use the Buddha's anger lotus. Now, he only managed to summon the Qinglian heart fire and the 3000 Yan Yan fire so reluctantly. On the other hand, the momentum of Ba Jia has once again caused a sensation in front of everyone's eyes, Xiao Yan saw two flames slowly approaching. Qing Tianyu and Ba Jia both shouted at the same time, how could it be? The two flames are together, almost dispersing it, you crazy person. Xiao Yan still seemed to have not heard it, and the flames on his fingers danced agilely. His face also quickly turned pale. Buzz. A palm-sized blue and purple fire lotus slowly emerged in his hand, and a destructive force quietly overflowed in his hand. Ba Jia swallowed a mouthful of saliva. He looked at the fire lotus, his hair standing up, but he still stubbornly encouraged himself. He is just a star emperor, I can win. Ki Huolian had already pushed over and collided with his blood knife, crushing everything. His fighting skills were about to break at a touch, but he was still using his full body fighting spirit to resist desperately, with a loud explosion echoing throughout the world. Qing Tianyu beside him exclaimed in surprise, Is this guy really a star Dou Emperor? But I haven't finished thinking yet. Everyone around me is desperately looking for cover, and the waves of destruction are spreading wave by wave. The smoke and dust dispersed, and a big hole was blasted through the city gate. A charred figure lay powerless on the ground, looking at Xiao Yan and saying, You. 1. Xiao Yan stepped forward and lifted Ba Jia, 
took out some pills from the ring, and regardless of whether they were useful to Emperor Do, he administered them to Ba Jiao. In the first battle, I don't know the severity, I'm sorry. It seems that although the initial battle against the Three Star Emperor was difficult, it was still reluctantly forced. Xiao Yan had just finished thinking when Qing Tianyu suddenly shouted, Brother Yan, something's wrong. The fire lotus you just set up seems to have attracted something. Find Xu Yuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com Ba Jia, who was supported by Xiao Yan, suddenly had a serious expression in his eyes. He weakly said, it's that emperor fire. He should have been in the city thousands of miles away from the suburbs. Xiao Yan, if you didn't expect it to be an abnormal fire just now, emperor fire is actually an active abnormal fire. It's not surprising that it attracts you. Be careful, there must be attraction between the flames. As I heard before, this emperor fire should be the 16th ranked 8 emperor's Qianhuan Yan. You go first, I'll resist it for a while. Speaking, Ba Jia was ready to stand up, and the city guards immediately gathered around. Xiao Yan was deeply moved when he saw this. Despite not knowing each other, Ba Jia saved his life. Xiao Yan said, Thank you very much, Brother Ba. However, you were seriously injured in my fight, and I should have stayed here to help you. I'll let the two of you send you out first. Ba Jia and Qing Tianyu listened and looked around in confusion. Who should take me out? Ba Jia asked, with no one around except for the city guards. What does Xiao Yan mean by these words? Xiao Yan smiled and murmured, Xian Huang Yan, the wind and thunder are raging. Xiao Yan's body trembled, and two figures appeared out of thin air. What instructions does the master have? Xiao Yan said, wind, thunder, anger, and inflammation. You are the fastest in the strange fire. Please take Ba Jia to a safe place. Zuan Wanjian, please assist him. But master, I feel a stronger flame approaching you than we all are. You won't be in danger, will you? Xian Huang Yan frowned as he lay on the ground with one hand, emitting light yellow energy in all directions along the ground. Xiao Yan said in a cold voice, First, take Ba Jia and others away with Fong Lei Nu Yan. Before the words could be spoken, a sea of flames engulfed the sky and earth, and eight different breaths instantly covered the surroundings, making the whole world seem like an illusion, this is the Eight Emperor's Thousand Illusions Yen. Chapter 5 Parallel World Emperor Zhanlong You are listening at NovelFull.audio Xiao Yen stared ahead with a solemn expression, waves of wind pressure sweeping through him, a wave of terror rising in his heart, and the Emperor Fire had a spirit. Before I could finish thinking about it, another wave of pressure hit my face, and the surrounding boulders were instantly flattened, with dust rolling up in the sky. After the dust dispersed, Xiao Yan was already ten miles away, rolling and emitting flames to resist the pressure, occasionally coughing up a mouthful of blood. Xiao Yan didn't dare to act rashly and stared ahead with his body firmly propped up. This imperial fire was really different from the exotic fire. Most of the exotic fires in the Duki continent had no spiritual intelligence. Even without spiritual intelligence, when Xiao Yan subdued them, he would still pass by in front of the Yen Wang Hall. And this imperial fire was like a cultivator, how should we deal with it? Ha ha ha, I haven't seen a star emperor withstand my pressure for many years. Did you just make the noise? Laughter came from the surrounding space, and a person covered in grey flames walked out. He sniffed the remaining energy of the Buddha's anger lotus just now. It's me, as I expected, you're the eight emperors Qianhuan Yan, right? Xiao Yan wiped away the blood from the corner of his mouth and stood up calmly. Yes, for many years I have been searching for someone who is destined, and now I have finally found one. You have too much breath in your body, even more than mine. I wonder if you want to get my original flame. Xiao Yan was startled in his heart. As soon as he appeared, he asked if he wanted the origin. Xiao Yan thought to himself, isn't this a question made out of knowledge? 
but he knew that it was impossible for such a pie to fall from the sky. This is your origin, even if I want it, you have to agree to give it to me. I agree to give it to you. Under Xiao Yan's shocked gaze, the eight emperors Qian Huanyan snatched his lips and said, however, you have to go through my test. Only by passing it can you obtain my origin, and after experiencing it, your own strength will also be improved. However, if you die on the inside, then it's not my business. Xiao Yan's heart was shaken. Is it just such a simple condition? He still couldn't believe it, but the test of the eight emperors Qianhuan Yan was a near death, and if he didn't go, he would never get the origin of the eight emperors Qianhuan fire. Since that's the case, let's give it a try. Xiao Yan roared, and the strange fire on his body suddenly surged abnormally. The eight emperors Qian Huan Yan's pupils narrowed slightly and he murmured in his heart, maybe this person can wash away the imprint on my body. Okay, then you are my destined person. I will open the test now. Eight emperors Qian Huan Yan had some selfishness. He thought the man in front of him would hesitate for a moment, but he couldn't help but look up at Xiao Yan. Eight emperors Qian Huan Hua stepped forward and waved his hand. In the void, a beam of light shot out from the void. Eight emperors Qian Huan Hua said calmly, Are you planning to enter? If you plan to enter, don't hesitate, like a man. Xiao Yan nodded and his figure trembled as he entered the beam of light. Soon, his figure slowly disappeared. When Xiao Yan reappeared, he was already in another continent. He looked around and was familiar with everything. His pupils couldn't help but tremble and he said, Is this the continent of Duki? No, this is not your Duki continent, it is your parallel time and space. Once all of your time and space were your most dazzling, but many people came from the planet you crossed and took everything that should belong to you. Let's fight. Xiao Yan. You have to take back everything you have. The voice of the eight emperors thousand illusions fire echoed in my mind. Upon hearing these words, Xiao Yan's figure shook and he was already thousands of miles away. The Gamma Empire. In today's Duki continent, there is a person's name everywhere, Xiao Yi Chen, Dragon Emperor. Xiao Yan's pupils narrowed. Is it possible that this is the person I want to kill? Why? Why should I kill? This is someone else's life, what about me? Of course it's none of your business. This person once crossed over from your earth, robbed your woman, teacher, and took away the strange fire that was originally yours. Are you sure it's none of your business, your Xiao Suner, your Yun Yun? The eight emperors Qian Huan Yan seemed to know what Xiao Yan was thinking and spoke up. Xiao Yan heard this, and a deep blush rose in his eyes. The flames on his body were even more raging, with a loud explosion. Cracks opened from the ground, and those around him looked at Xiao Yan in fear. In an instant, everyone ran away. A gust of wind swept in the distance and shouted angrily, Who is that? Dare to roam freely on my continent. Xiao Yan flashed into the air and said, It's me, Xiao family, Xiao Yan. What, Xiao Yan? It's impossible. Aren't you already dead? There's only one Do Emperor in the mainland today, Dragon Emperor Xiao Yi Chen. No matter where you come from, you must die today. Xiao Yi Chen finished speaking and his fierce fighting spirit converged into an angry dragon charging towards Xiao Yan. With a wave of his big hand, magma surged underground, blocking Xiao Yi Chen's attack. Impossible, why is there still a strange fire in this world? All the strange fires are in my hands. But since they have arrived, let's see whose strange fire is stronger or weaker. After speaking, Xiao Yi Chen summoned 20.2 types of strange fires and rushed toward Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan angrily smiled and said, If I have never appeared in this Duki continent before, where did you come from? But since you said to use a different fire to fight, then I will come and try whether my different fire can extinguish your different fire. Immediately, Xiao Yan let out a soft drink and said, The heavens are inflamed by nature, and the heart of the Qinglian earth is filled with fire. Two figures appeared next to Xiao Yan, 
and Xiao Yichen looked at them contemptuously and said, Isn't this a human? What kind of strange fire? Ha ha ha, I'm sure I'll win. Xiao Yan imitated Xiao Yichen's expression and smiled, really. He turned his head to Qinglian and said to them, Let's also try your strength today and have a great battle. After speaking, Qinglian Di Xianhua and the Tian Zhao Hua Yan carried a towering flame and rushed towards Xiao Yichen, waiting for the pressure Xiao Yichen's eyes narrowed slightly as he looked at the rushing Qinglian earth heart fire and the heavenly creation flame. He secretly said, it turns out that there is a spiritual fire, but it's only two. It's not enough to be afraid, let's fight. After Xiao Yichen finished speaking, he angrily smashed towards Xiao Yen. Xiao Yen rolled a sneer at the corner of his mouth, and in his hand, two flames rolled open and collided with him. With a loud bang, it exploded into the world. A figure fell from the sky, and it was none other than Xiao Yichen. He spat out a mouthful of blood and said, I underestimated you. Let's use the Buddha Fury Lotus to determine the winner. Twenty-two different fires, which were fighting against the Qinglian Earth Heart Fire, returned to Xiao Yichen's side and fused one by one. Xiao Yan stood in the sky and said, Sure enough, even my fighting skills have been learned by you. So now it depends on whose realm is higher. After Xiao Yan summoned two to merge together, he also allowed the pure lotus demon fire and the void swallowing flame to merge two of them. Xiao Li Chen sneered and said, Even 20.2 different fires cannot merge. How can you compete with me? Is it just these three two dot color fire lotus flowers? Xiao Yan remained silent. After a long time, the fire lotus in his hand solidified before he spoke lightly, That's nature. You can try it yourself. Xiao Li Chen looked at the three fire lotus flowers in Xiao Yan's hand, his heart skipped a beat, and his face began to tremble. This was Lei Wei, comparable to Emperor Do's calamity. Xiao Li Chen watched this scene, unwilling to give up. He couldn't believe why Xiao Yan would come back to life from death, and why he could still be so powerful. He shouted, Come on! Xiao Yan sneered. Since he wanted to try, let's give it a try. A two-dot color fire lotus was launched and collided with the 20.2 color fire lotus. The 20.2 color fire lotus was instantly annihilated. Xiao Li Chen's face trembled as he watched, and he ran around aimlessly. The pure lotus demon fire and the void swallowing yen beside Xiao Yan also threw out the fire lotus one after another. Three fire lotus were imprinted on each other and the path spun, trapping Xiao Yi Chen inside. Xiao Yan's face turned white, and the knot in his hand was already formed. He lightly shouted, burst. The end has come for Xiao Yi Chen. Xiao Yan stood in the clouds, staring coldly at the faint voice that had disappeared. Xiao Yi Chen's strange fire was completely sucked out, and Xiao Yan's strange fire became even more solid. Although Xiao Yi Chen died, the remnants of the Buddha's fury lotus were still rippling, and the continent of Duki was shaken and tilted, with the tragic scene of space collapse everywhere. Chapter 6 Catastrophe You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Xiao Yan looked at this Duki continent and couldn't help feeling sad in his heart. Although this was not his world, it was still the Duki continent. He had destroyed it to such an extent before I could finish thinking about it, the entire continent began to fluctuate, the sky was about to collapse, time and space were about to split, and the entire continent seemed to sink into countless abyss. Xiao Yan, it's not good. What kind of fighting skills are you? You have sunk the entire continent. Although the Duki continent cannot withstand the attack of the Duti, it shouldn't be like this. Perhaps this is really your disaster. The people of this continent, life and death depend on you. The eight emperors Qian Huanyan said in a deep voice in Xiao Yan's heart. A few broken winds sounded in the distance, and in the blink of an eye, several figures approached Xiao Yan. These figures were undoubtedly Xiao Suner, Xiao Yixian, and others. Are you Xiao Yan? Didn't you die long ago? How could you appear here? 
Xiao Suner asked with a cold eyebrow. Xiao Yan heard the familiar voice and felt ripples in his heart. However, he saw the cold gaze of Xiao Suner and others, and finally choked up. You are not her, you are not the Xiao Suner I like, you are the Xiao Suner of this world, and I am the Xiao Yan of another world. Then you shouldn't have killed him, you shouldn't have killed Xiao Yichen. Xiao Suner and others angrily said. Xiao Yan looked at the resolute gaze of Xiao Suner and others, and his eyes turned red as he asked, Have you really never liked me in this world before? In your heart, do I really have no meaning to exist? Or do you really only like the person you call Xiao Yichen? Xiao Suner suddenly froze, standing there dumbfounded. She looked at Xiao Yan in front of her, who didn't belong to this world, and her heart felt a little sour, or rather sympathy for the person in front of her. It's not as you think. I did like you before, but when you're dead, you're already dead. Can I wait hard for someone who can't be resurrected until I die? Xiao Suner looked at Xiao Yan's face, biting her lips stubbornly to prevent tears from falling. Xiao Yan also stared blankly at the person he loved the most, how sad it was, unable to explain. But suddenly, a roar shattered this sincerity, and the continent of fighting spirit was about to shatter. Xiao Suner said slowly, If you really want to compensate for the suffering brought to me by Xiao Yan in this world, please save this continent. With the strength of us those saints, we are really powerless. What about me? I'm going to face the punishment brought by this world alone, do you really think so? Xiao Yan looked at Xiao Suner and let out a bitter smile. Xiao Suner bit her lips without speaking, and the faces of the women beside her were also somewhat complicated. Ha, huh, I understand now. Since that's the case, I have no choice but to do so. A few tears slid down Xiao Yan's cheek, and he laughed a few times, endless pain spreading from the bottom of his heart. A drop of tears drifted by the wind, blowing onto Xiao Suner's face. Xiao Yan had already turned around and went to the center of the crack. His hair was swayed by the storm, and a series of torn thunder struck him. Xiao Suner, who was far away, watched this scene. She covered her mouth and felt inexplicably heartbroken. In this world, she had experienced something completely different from the world where Xiao Yan lived, and her emotions toward Xiao Yan should not be so strong. However, at this moment, she still made a choking sound. In the distance, Xiao Yan let out another scream. He knelt down in the void, his pain spreading into an endless force surging from his body. A voice in his heart said, Master, don't be sad. This is not your world, why do you see it so seriously? But they are still the people I love the most. Aren't they? Xiao Yan's heart echoed with bitter laughter. After finishing the sentence, the towering fighting spirit pointed straight at the sky, and the ten thousand guan fighting spirit pierced through the continent. The towering thunder disaster hit Xiao Yan, and several women in the distance covered their mouths, watching the scene in terror. If he hadn't just said those words, perhaps Xiao Yan wouldn't have endured such a great hardship. Boom! This sound completely woke Xiao Suner up. Xiao Suner collapsed on the ground, crying and shouting, I've loved you before. Come back, this world shouldn't just let you bear such great pain. But her voice was so weak that thunder covered it. After a long time, a person covered in blood appeared in the sight of everyone between heaven and earth. He smiled at Xiao Suner and said, Your words are enough, but I won't back down. The calamity of this continent has arisen because of me, so let me put an end to it. Even if it's not my world, I still have concerns, he <laughs> he. Another thunderbolt with a thick wrist and arm exploded, followed by millions of thunderbolts. However, one could see a brilliant flame flickering in the center, and each thunderbolt dimmed a bit. Now it was a candle flickering in the wind, as if it would be extinguished at any moment. Xiao Suner was filled with regret, as if she was already a tearful person. The last thunderbolt struck, and the figure in the center of the thunderbolt spewed out a stream of blood. Xiao Yan fell from the air and hit the ground. The sky slowly heals, and time and space slowly recover. 
Xiao Suner didn't have time to pay attention to these things. She quickly ran over and felt that Xiao Yan was so foolish. She went to the book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com just because of her one sentence to save the people. I saw a figure buried in the sand and dust, and at some point, 20.2 people surrounded him. Xiao Suner ran forward, but was stopped by the heart fire of Qinglian. Xiao Suner worried and said, Is Xiao Yan okay? How is he doing? San Qian Yan, who was healing Xiao Yan's injury, snorted coldly, How could it be okay to be hit by so many thunderbolts? 3000, shut up. The Jing Lian demon fire beside him shouted loudly, and he said to Xiao Suner, It's okay. 3000 yen fire and the spirit yen will heal his wounds. Don't worry. Xiao Suner smiled with tears and said, Then I'll just wait here until he wakes up. People in this world are waiting for him to wake up. Miss, why do you need to be like this? Aren't you tired from the catastrophe just now? Go rest, we're here. Qinglian Dxian Hua said. Xiao Suner didn't answer, just sat there stubbornly. Everything began to revive, only Xiao Yan lay quietly there, weak breathing up and down. The spirit Yan, who had never spoken but silently healed Xiao Yan, said, this is not a solution. We need to ask the eight emperors Qian Huan Yan to help Xiao Yan. So the six paths reincarnation flame roared towards the sky and said, eight emperors Qian Huan Yan, I know you've been watching Xiao Yan all along. This trial was supposed to be your game, and we don't know what you want Xiao Yan to do. But now you have to take action, help him advance, and consider it a reward for him to pass the first level. As the words fell, a ray of light covered Xiao Yan. Anyone could know that Xiao Yan was undergoing transformation, his breath was rising step by step, and a torrential wave of weather rested on this dooky continent to awaken. Xiao Yan's wounds slowly healed, and his breathing gradually stabilized. Ha! Huh. Is this the two-star emperor? Chapter 7 The Return of the Emperor You are listening at NovelFull.audio While Xiao Yan was thinking about how to be promoted to the two-star Dou Emperor, a haggard figure walked over and slowly sat beside him. Watching Xiao Suner's tearful appearance, Xiao Yan's heart was also sore. He turned around and hugged her, and Xiao Suner struggled for a while before letting him embrace her. Xiao Yan sniffed at the charming and familiar body scent, while Xiao Suner caressed his face and bit his lips, saying softly, I'm sorry. Xiao Suner's lips trembled as if she was about to burst into tears at any moment. Xiao Yan hugged her and said, You're right. Why apologize? Everything is my fault. So they hugged each other tightly, and suddenly the eight emperors Qian Huanyan said in their hearts, Is it enough to flirt and flirt? If it's enough, we'll prepare for the next level. They'll be there soon, Xiao Yu, Yu Emperor, Xiao Tian, and Xiao Yao God Emperor. Now that you're promoted to the two-star Dou Emperor, you shouldn't be afraid of them, even though they both have a strange fire. Xiao Yan cursed inwardly, so fast. Isn't it possible that everyone will experience the Buddha Fury Lotus again? Can this continent still receive another Buddha Fury Lotus? Affordable, this continent has just been repaired by you, and its strength is different from before, said the eight emperors Qianhuan Fire. Xiao Suner noticed something was wrong with Xiao Yan and asked, What's wrong? Xiao Yanro said calmly, It's nothing, there's another big battle coming, they're coming. Xiao Suner suddenly exclaimed urgently, Are you really not going to have any trouble? Are those two also Emperor Dou? At first, the battle between Xiao Yan and Xiao Yi Chen left a psychological shadow on Xiao Suner, and she didn't know how many times this continent would collapse. I really don't know. Let's pull the hook, Xiao Yan extended his hand and said. Okay, don't lie to me, don't let yourself get hurt again. Xiao Suner also reached out her hand, and for some reason, it came to her mind that Xiao Yan, who had died tragically in this world before, had died under Xiao Yi Chen's command. Tears welled up in her eyes. Hmm. Two powerful breaths swept over them in the distance. 
A handsome-looking person said, Xiao Yan. You're still alive. I don't know why I was brought here. You still have time to flirt and flirt here. Come on, today I must kill you and regain Sunner's heart. A person next to him said, I should say this sentence. Xiao Yan's figure slowly rose and said, You don't have that qualification. Then give it a try and introduce myself. I am Xiao Tian, the Emperor of Xiaoyao. The man proudly said. There's no need to introduce, you're not qualified, Xiao Yan smiled and said. You're quite arrogant, but just sharp-tongued. You're just a character in a book, and I came through the book. I know everything about you. Killing you once is like chopping melons and vegetables. Xiao Tian Dao said. As soon as he finished speaking, Xiao Tian kicked his foot and the fierce wind approached Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan casually broke through and said, You don't need to try carving insects. Xiao Yu sneered behind Xiao Yan and said, Humph, you don't have to deal with him alone. Is that right? Xiao Yu, who was ambushing, saw a sneer curling up at the corner of Xiao Yan's mouth. With a punch from Xiao Yu, Xiao Yan was shocked into nothingness. Oh no, three thousand thunder illusions. Xiao Yu cursed inwardly, but unfortunately, the strong wind behind him had already arrived. Be careful, don't just guard against one person, Xiao Yan joked, learning from Xiao Yu's tone just now. Xiao Yu spat out a mouthful of blood and said, Hee hee, I underestimated you. However, we have two of us. Come on, let me see how strong you are. Immediately, Xiao Tian and Xiao Yu launched a pincer attack, engaging in a physical altercation with Xiao Yan. Bang! There was another muffled sound of fist hitting flesh. Xiao Yan spat out a mouthful of fresh blood, and similarly, Xiao Tian and the others were not much better. Suddenly, the three of them stood in the air and coincidentally said, A strange fire has appeared. All three of them suddenly burst into colorful flames, and Xiao Tian and the others sneered, but gradually turned into shock. Their strange fire was trembling and afraid. Xiao Tian said to Xiao Yu, This is not a solution. Let's fight quickly and make a quick decision. Immediately, a strange fire appeared in his hand, pulling it into 20.2 pieces with one hand. Xiao Yu did the same, but he did not directly merge like Xiao Yichen. Instead, the two of them fused their respective different fires together. It is still a 20.2 colored fire lotus, but its destructive power is much higher than that of Xiao Yichen. The sunlight cannot penetrate this surging flame, and the world around it darkens. Only the fire lotus in hand slowly rotates like a new sun. Xiao Yan's face was solemn, and he was also condensing flames at this moment. However, the two colored fire lotus in his hand had already consumed too much of his strength. But when he suddenly saw Xiao Sunner below, he felt a madness on his face because of the oppression of the three duty emperors. Another flame emerged in his hand, and the energy between heaven and earth was ravaged and overflowed by the raging flames. Xiao Yan roared loudly, I don't believe it. I am the emperor of strange fire, and I cannot melt three flames. With a loud cry, a flame figure appeared next to Xiao Yan at Xuyuan www.xiaozhuyuan.com, condensing with him. However, he also advised, don't force yourself, master, you will die. At this moment, Xiao Yan still seemed unheard of, stubbornly merging. Buzz. With a muffled sound, there was no light in heaven and earth, only a three-colored fire lotus slowly spinning. Xiao Yan's three-colored fire lotus is equivalent to the energy of three duty, while Xiao Yu and his companions are only two at most. Xiao Yan smiled weakly, pushed out the fire lotus, collided with the twenty-two-color fire lotus, and the destructive storm shook Xiao Yan, and Xiao Yu was no exception. Xiao Yu was instantly shattered into nothingness, but Xiao Tian's good luck also prevented him from moving. Xiao Yan struggled to get up, but two figures swept out of his body. One stood beside Xiao Yan and the other helped him up. Xiao Yan pointed at Xiao Tian, who was motionless, and weakly said to the person next to him, Void, 
Jing Lian, kill him. Without any hesitation, the two flame figures flew over in an instant, piercing through Xiao Tian's chest and causing another Dou Emperor to fall. The void swallowing flame and the pure lotus demon fire pulled out and devoured the strange flames inside the Xiao celestial body, and their flame solidified once again. Xiao Yan collapsed weakly to the ground, and Xiao Suner ran over from a distance, hugging him and crying, You hurt yourself again. Xiao Yan gently stroked Xiao Suner's hair and said, Girl, haven't I died yet? However, I feel like I will soon leave this world and go back. I hope you can also become the Emperor of Dou and live a good life. Perhaps one day in the future, we will meet again. Upon hearing this, Xiao Suner tightened her arms around him, as if they were embracing each other when she was young. Xiao Yan also fell asleep due to excessive fatigue. In the sunset, a man and a woman hugged each other and rested. Chapter 8 The Senior of the Xiao Clan You are listening at NovelFull.audio Xiao Yan, it's time to go back. The voice of the eight emperors Qin Huan Yan said in Xiao Yan's mind, it's time to go back. You have passed my test and must go back, otherwise the world will be in chaos. Xiao Yan's heart was startled upon hearing this, and his body trembled. He looked at Xiao Suner next to him, who was still sleeping soundly. Xiao Yan said, can't we stay a few more days? Eight emperors Qin Huan Yan said helplessly, no, I also want you to stay a few more days, but I found out that you are a member of the Xiao tribe. If the people of the Xiao tribe know that you have left the Didi continent and are not angry enough to stomp their feet, and only the nine star Didi can shuttle through the universe. You are only one star, and your fighting skills and soul are so useless, then the people of the Xiao tribe will not kill me even if they know. Xiao Yan was also taken aback and asked, My martial arts are at the highest level, and my soul is also at the imperial realm. How could it be so useless? Hee hee, I forgot you first arrived in Didi Continent. Now let me introduce you to the classification of Didi Continent. The martial arts are divided into Emperor Level, Immortal Level, and Divine Level. The soul is divided into Immortal Level, Divine Level, and Wanwijing. You should have just arrived in Didi Continent for the first time, but for some reason, your Fire Lotus Power can reach Immortal Level, and your martial arts should not be as useless as Heavenly Level. You are getting increasingly confused. I have some selfishness in teleporting you to these parallel worlds, and I want you to help me clear a mark. However, your current level is too low, and even after absorbing so many strange flames, you still cannot reach that strength. And you can't swallow and absorb me now. When the time is right, I will give you the source Xiao Yan was not an unintelligent person. He arched his hand and said, Xiao Yan is not an unintelligent person. I hope you will really remember this promise. Let's go. But suddenly, the eight emperors Qian Huan Yan's breath surged and he stared at the void in front of him, saying, It seems that those old and immortal members of your tribe have discovered it. The eight emperors Qian Huan Yan stared at the void with an indifferent expression and said lightly, Xiao Zhan returns, Xiao Zhan Zun. I didn't expect your Xiao clan to value this kid so much. They sent you two old immortals. Last time you tried to subdue me but didn't succeed, do you still want to? Two energetic elderly people slowly appeared in the void ahead, and one of them said with a playful smile, that was a misunderstanding. However, Eighth Lord, you see that Xiao Yan has been abducted and sold by you to this continent where birds don't die. You shouldn't compensate for it. For example, surrender your origin. Eight emperors Qian Huan Yan smiled and said, After all these years, you are still so shameless. But sooner or later, I will return to Xiao Yan, but it's not the time yet. And I am the Nine Star Peak Dou Emperor. Do you dare to suck me for you? Xiao Zhangue heard it and couldn't speak. But Xiao Yan didn't care about the two senior members of the Xiao clan anymore. Instead, he walked aside and said goodbye to Xiao Suner, Suner, I'm leaving. I may find it difficult to make up for the mistakes I've made in this world, but maybe we'll meet again in the future. 
The atmosphere of separation condensed in the air is all due to those travelers, otherwise there might be a Xiao Yan who loves Sunar in every parallel world. Before he could finish speaking, an old man hung upside down and said, This girl looks pretty good. If you like her, why don't I help you bring her to your world? It's not difficult. Xiao Yan was startled, and Xiao Sunar's face also turned slightly red. However, her face showed a hint of sadness. Thank you for your kindness, senior. However, his world will also have her Xiao Sunar. I am very satisfied to see him again. Everyone was somewhat silent when they heard it. Xiao Zhangue pinched the formula with one hand, and a faint light appeared on Xiao Yan's body. Under Xiao Sunar's reluctant gaze, he disappeared into the void. Upon reaching the void passage, Xiao Zhangue asked, It seems that your aura has reached the level of a two star battle emperor. This progress is amazing. Upon hearing this, the eight emperors Qianhuan Yan immediately said, If it weren't for me helping him break through, how poor are you? Your own son doesn't even give you a fighting skill. How do you want him to experience the mainland for 300 years? Xiao Zhanzuan listened with a bitter smile and said, This is also the test of the Xiao family's division. Didn't we come here in the same way back then? And it seems that he doesn't need martial arts and combat skills. Xiao Zhangui glared at the eight emperors Qian Huanyan and snorted, Don't pretend to be kind. Hearted. Why did you help Xiao Yan break through? Xiao Yan has absorbed so much strange fire and resisted the heavenly punishment of Duki Continent. The energy is naturally formed. They had already seen Xiao Yan fight against the three emperors in this Duki Continent. All right, all right, let's just waste all the nonsense. Anyway, what do you have to do with me? I'll leave first, and you can slowly send your cubs back. The eight emperors Qianhuan Yan said and ran away. Xiao Zhangue looked at the disappearing figure of the eight emperors Qian Huanyan and sighed, I thought I could catch him, but I had to spend so much time talking. Xiao Zhangue looked back at Xiao Yan and asked, Son, did the eight emperors Qian Huanyan really promise to give you the origin? If that's really the case, that's amazing. Xiao Yan smiled and said, Really? However, Xiao Zhanzuan also said, Although the eight emperors Qian Huanyan is willing to accept you as the lord, he has already been subdued. That person is amazing. He is one of the seven closest people to Doxian in the world today, known as the Xuyang Divine Emperor. That person is an archenemy with Emperor Renyu. The Xuyang Divine Emperor subdued the eight emperors Qian Huanyan at the time of the eight stars, but I don't know what happened. In recent years, the eight emperors Qian Huanyan has been wanting to leave Xuyang and find someone else who is destined. Xiao Yan asked, Why doesn't the eight emperors Qian Huanyan go find Emperor Renyu? He he, can't you guess this? Of course, Emperor Renyu also has imperial fire, and it ranks the same as the eight emperors Qian Huanyan. It is a rare imperial fire of the same level in the world, capable of annihilating the silent flame. Xiao Zhanzuan said. Xiao Yan asked again, which of them is stronger or weaker? Is there anyone else who can rival them? Of course. Looking for Xu Yuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com, Xiao Zhan returned and said, our senior Xiao family member, Xiao Fun, is said to be a strong Doxian and possesses the Doxian level Emperor Fire. However, now I don't know the name of that Emperor Fire. He once fought against Emperor Xuyang and Emperor Renyu, and the two of them worked together without passing ten moves. Xiao Fen left without knowing where the senior is now. Xiao Yan sighed and couldn't help but think of his ancestor, Xiao Xian. Xiao Zhanzuan saw Xiao Yan's melancholy and asked, Little brat, what's up? Why don't you say it? Let's see if we can help you. Xiao Yan said, Really? Xiao Zhan returned and said, that's natural. You are our younger generation, and we will do our best to help you. So, Xiao Yan's soul sneaked into his hand to take the ring, and after a moment, a tiny soul light appeared in front of Xiao Zhanzuan and the other two. Is this? Xiao Zhanzuan asked in confusion. 
Xiao Yan suppressed his tears and said, This is my ancestor. When the source energy was depleted, this ancestor was already one step away from the Dou Emperor. Later, he wanted to gather the strength of his entire family to step into the Dou Emperor, but unfortunately, he was surrounded and killed by the Soul Clan. Senior Xiao Xian fought back on his deathbed, causing the Soul Clan's source energy to be greatly damaged and preserving the last trace of the Xiao Clan's bloodline. Later, the Dochi continent was disrupted by the Soul Clan, and it was this ancestor who helped me step into the Emperor Realm, sacrificing himself and transforming into this shining point. Now that I have stepped into the Dou Emperor, I want him to be resurrected, and let him see with his own eyes that the young man who was already the Dou Emperor. He fulfilled his unfinished mission after listening, Xiao Zhangue wiped away his old tears and said, I will definitely help you, but I haven't heard of anyone who can be resurrected through soul light points in all these years. But let's go back to Duty Continent first. When I return to Duty Continent, I will send people to inquire from various sources. Xiao Zhanzuan said. Hmm, let's go. Xiao Yan nodded and said. Chapter 9 Meeting Teachers You are listening at NovelFull.audio After flying in the void for a few hours, suddenly thunderstruck and Xiao Yan was thrown out. Two voices came out. Xiao Yan, don't worry about Xiao Xian's affairs. We will help you inquire. You also need to arrive at the Five Star Dou Emperor as soon as possible and come back. As long as you arrive at the Five Star Dou Emperor, you can go back to my separate family. Remember that. Then the voice slowly disappeared, leaving only Xiao Yan standing on the empty ground. Well, now it's time to quickly understand this mysterious duty continent, murmured Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan walked towards the nearby city and saw a map shop. A middle-aged man was sitting beside him drawing a picture. Xiao Yan walked gently and asked, May I have a map? The middle-aged man didn't answer, just sat quietly there. Xiao Yan also sat on a nearby chair with wit. For a long time, the middle-aged man raised his head and said, Young man, it's not bad. When he first arrived at the duty continent, he arrived at the two-star duty. It's not bad, it's good. I'll give you the map on this table. Xiao Yan was startled and asked, Senior, how did you know that I was just visiting the duty continent? Hee hee, I don't know either, but someone just mentioned informing me. The middle-aged man glanced at Xiao Yan and smiled. Xiao Yan was taken aback and thought to himself, there is someone in the Duty Continent who knows me without even seeing me. This person must be extraordinary. Xiao Yan spoke up and said, Excuse me, senior, who informed you? Where is that person? The middle-aged man replied, Go to Duantian Cliff, where you can see him. The map in your hand has the direction there. Xiao Yan heard this and bowed his hand, saying, Thank you very much. As soon as he moved, he followed the direction of the map to cut off the cliff. At this moment, the middle-aged man placed his hand on the edge of his face and gently tore it off, revealing an old face. The purple marks on his forehead flickered slightly, and he smiled and said, It's very interesting, little one. There are 20.2 types of strange fires that have been tested by the eight emperors Qian Huanyin. Not bad, I really want to be your teacher. Of course, Xiao Yan was unaware of this scene, but he ran like a cliff in the sky. At that time, the scene in front of him was as magnificent as the name of the broken sky cliff. Floating on the water and crossing the sky, Xiao Yan didn't have time to sigh. Suddenly, a waterfall flowed upstream, and the mountain peak was isolated from the water. An old figure slowly emerged between the mountains and the water. If the mountain peak fell, the old man would surely have no bones left. Xiao Yan saw this scene and immediately shouted towards the other side, Old man, hurry up, it's dangerous. The old man still didn't move, but Xiao Yan rushed towards him in a hurry. The old man saw it and smiled, then chuckled softly and said, Hold on. I saw that Xiao Yan could not take a step further. 
In Xiao Yan's surprised gaze, the old man extended his hands, and the broken cliff seemed to be lifted by the old man. The mountains and water slowly merged together, and the old man's breath did not change much. Xiao Yan sighed with emotion. He believed that even if he fought himself to death, it was impossible to achieve it, let alone the stones, water, and Duki continent in this Duti continent were completely different. How many star emperors is the old man in front of you? Eight stars. Nine stars. Just as Xiao Yan was thinking, the old man slowly walked towards the void, his body movements being particularly clever. Xiao Yan was amazed to see him, and then the old man walked up to Xiao Yan and said, Do you want to learn my body movements and combat skills? Due to being confined, Xiao Yan could only stutter and say, I want to learn. As my disciple, I promise to give it to you, the old man said. Upon hearing these words, Xiao Yan's head went buzzing. He only had one teacher in his life, whether in Duki continent or Duti continent, he would only have one teacher, Yao Lao. Xiao Yan looked at the old man without making a sound. The old man was surprised. He had just performed his skill of moving mountains and filling the sea so brilliantly that he didn't catch the attention of the young man in front of him. So he wanted this disciple even more in his heart, and his face became fierce, like an old bandit who had been living in a bandit's den for hundreds of years, and Xiao Yan himself was a small bandit coveted by the old bandits. Seeing this, Xiao Yan immediately struggled in fear, but was still suppressed by invisible forces. Suddenly, Xiao Yan's body was engulfed in a strange fire, shaking free from constraints. He ran away, but his feet were indeed moving, and his steps did not move a single step. The old bandit approached little by little and spoke like a toad, fight with me. If you win, you leave. If you don't win, you become my disciple. Upon hearing this, Xiao Yan's body immediately erupted uncontrollably with a strange fire. He shouted loudly, All right. Find Xu Yuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com. The old man laughed and said, Huh, you have courage. I really want to take you as a disciple more and more. Xiao Yan has a deep friendship with Yao Lao, just like his own father and son. Xiao Yan will never join his teacher again in this lifetime so Xiao Yan leaned out with his hands flat, and the two colored flames suddenly lit up in his hands. He slowly merged the two colored flames together. This scene made the old man in front of him tremble with fear, and he finally had a disciple who had passed by. He didn't want him to die, so he shouted loudly, Little doll, don't be impulsive, it's just a competition. The two colored fire lotus had already formed, and Xiao Yan's face was as white as paper, but everything was not over. At this moment, a golden flame rose up in his left hand, and the old man's murky gaze moved slightly, thinking, these should be the three of the twenty point two strange flames. The three are so powerful, and what about the two or twelve? I'm afraid even the duty continent cannot bear them. As soon as he thought of this, his heart to recruit became even more intense. At the same time, another white flame quietly merged into the fire lotus. Xiao Yan spat out a mouthful of blood, and the old man sighed lightly, don't work so hard. Why not just be my disciple? The old man looked calmly at the fire lotus filled with destructive power, but under his shocked gaze, Xiao Yan summoned another yellow flame. When the yellow flame entered the fire lotus, a destructive force that made the old man's heart skip a beat suddenly dissipated uncontrollably. The old man felt uneasy and was about to take action, but with a pop sound, the fire lotus extinguished, and the destructive power that filled the air decreased by a fraction. I saw Xiao Yan helplessly fall from the sky, and the five-colored fire lotus was still too difficult for him, the two-star Dou Emperor. Just as Xiao Yan was about to fall to the ground, a strong force lifted him up. The old man immediately clapped his hands and walked up to Xiao Yan, putting Xiao Yan on his body and laughing, I found one disciple, ha ha ha. Chapter 10 Imperial Fire Ranking You are listening at Novel Full Audio. In a bamboo house, an old man sat next to Xiao Yan and murmured, 
this kid is getting more and more difficult to see through. Even my pills can't make him recover so quickly. No, there's something in his body. The old man's eyes furrowed slightly, and he looked at Xiao Yan for a moment. His gaze slowly stopped at Xiao Yan's genitals. The old man chuckled and said, Xiao Yan's friends inside his body, come out and help him recover. He can't keep his hands and feet in his body. As soon as the words fell, Xiao Yan's spirit lit up with flames, and twenty point two figures filled the bamboo house. And each of them emitted a terrifying flame aura. But the old man didn't panic and said, You're not human, are you? I smelled a smell that was the same as Emperor Fire, but unfortunately it was too weak. It's Xiao Yan's strange fire, right? The crowd was surprised to hear the old man in front of them reveal his identity, and said, Mister, how did you know? The old man didn't answer. He waved his hand casually and saw two exceptionally strong flames spreading around him. The strange flames looked at him and exclaimed in surprise, This is the real Emperor Fire. Jinglian Yaohua walked out and said, And there are still two imperial fires. Could it be that the old master also has the same martial arts as Xiao Yan? The old man smiled and said, Yes, but my imperial fire is not an ordinary imperial fire. It is the seventh and ninth ranked dragon Qian Yan and eight power blood flame on the imperial fire list. What is on the imperial fire list? said Emperor Jin, burning the sky with anger. The old man smiled and said, the Emperor Fire ranking records the Emperor Fire with the most potential to reach the top three on the list. It's not because of anything else, but because they have had spiritual intelligence since their birth and are born to fight immortals. This sentence exploded in everyone's ears. If these two flames were both Doshian, wouldn't the old man in front of him also be a Doshian? But where did Doshian come from in the current duty continent? I don't know your surname, Mr. Lao. What kind of clan does he belong to? asked Su Wuyan respectfully, do not have your surname Xiao, a single name with the word burn, a member of the Xiao clan. The last word fell, and all the strange flames knelt on one knee. As soon as Xiao Yan, who had been unconscious, heard this, he got out of bed and knelt on the ground, loudly saying, young Xiao Yan, pay respects to our ancestor Xiao Fun. Let's all get up. Xiao Fen looked at it and said with satisfaction, Do you want to be my disciple now? Xiao Yan hesitated for a moment and said, My ancestor and I have the same bloodline. Why don't I become a named disciple? However, my ancestors' teachings will surely be remembered by Xiao Yan. Even if we are named, they will definitely be like the medicine elder in my lower world, who is my closest person. Xiao Fen heard this and his eyes moved slightly as he said, I didn't expect you to be a little guy who values emotions and righteousness. However, since you are my disciple, I will definitely let you work hard to create a world in this Duki continent. Do you have any questions now? Xiao Yan arched his hand and said, Now that Xiao Fen's ancestor is a Doshian, may I ask if there are still Doshian in this Duki continent? He he, there is indeed something, not too little pitiful. What is it that makes the Dou Di continent's Dou Xian so rare now? Xiao Fen's eyebrows furrowed as he heard it, and he said, This matter can be traced back a long time. A long time ago, the Emperor Fire list was not just about thirty Emperor Fires, but tens of thousands of them. It was a whole Emperor Fire family, and later many Emperor Fires broke through the Dou Xian. Some machines and machines coincidentally signed contracts with Emperor Fires, gaining unparalleled power and invincibility. As a result, the power of Emperor Fires began to be gradually discovered and coveted by the world. Many people wanted to obtain the power of Emperor Fires in order to cross the gap between the Dou Emperor and Dou Xian levels. However, Emperor Fires are not something that ordinary people can obtain, and some people went astray in their pursuit of power. Lu, they discovered another way to step into the stage of Dou Xian. But that's not immortality, that's demon. Although Dou Mo and Dou Xian have the same level, Dou Mo's psychology has long been distorted. Their dark side has been infinitely magnified, and eventually slowly evolved into infinite ambition. They have been thinking about ruling the Dou Di continent all day, 
so they have turned their attention to the Emperor Fire clan. Emperor Fire already contains huge energy. If they can all be subdued, unifying the Dodi continent is not a problem, but will Emperor Fire yield? I don't know, but I can't bear the succession of the fighting demons. Countless imperial fires were burned out in that great war. Later, the human race's Doshin learned that they went to help the Imperial Fire Clan, but only saved half of the Imperial Fire Clan. The burning decision was also divided into two parts. The Yang burning decision and the Yin burning decision. Xiao Yan interjected, Yang Fen Zhu and Yin Fen Zhu. Are we all fighting immortals using Yang Fen Zhu? What is the use of each? Xiao Fen reached out and said, Don't worry, I'll take it slow. Yang Fen can absorb all the Imperial Fire, but the ability of the Yin attribute Imperial Fire will be greatly reduced after being subdued, while Yin Fen can only absorb the cold and gloomy Imperial Fire. Go to Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com and reach an agreement with the remaining Imperial Fire of the Imperial Fire Clan at that time. Let the human emperor cultivate and burn the imperial fire to absorb them. So the human emperor absorbs all the remaining imperial fire, eventually breaking through to the Do Shen, and the highest level of Do Mo is still Do Mo. After that great war, Do Xian had no more, and only a few dozen imperial fires remained. And the burning decision is also passed down to the younger generation, and there will definitely be a big war in the near future Xiao Yan's heart skipped a beat upon hearing this, but his doubts resurfaced. He asked, so how many people in the world have been burned to death now? And why were you in the battle between Dou Shen and Dou Mo back then? Xiao Yan didn't say his last sentence, and Xiao Fen knew it. He sighed and replied, there are only a hundred people in this world who have burning Jew, and no one is willing to take such a big risk to cultivate. Back then, I was highly valued by the emperor for practicing burning Jew, so he gave me two emperor fires. After that big war, I felt like I was about to die. It was these two emperor fires that kept supporting me to escape and eventually settled in seclusion in this deep mountain. Your burning Jew seems different from ours. I don't know why your burning Jew combines yin and yang mo. Is this the first ancient practice of cremation? Xiao Yan replied. I don't know either, but I do know a person who has practiced burning Jew. To be precise, he is also a strange fire. He was the last duty in the Duki continent back then. Xiao Fen asked, What is his name? Xiao Yan said slowly, Tuasha ancient emperor. Xiao Fen heard this and his heart pounded a few times, saying, Is Tuasha. If I were the remaining Doshian, then Tuasha would be the true Doshian powerhouse. He survived on his own, unlike us who barely survived. Xiao Fen turned his head in shock and asked, Do you know him? Yes, he was lucky enough to inherit it, Xiao Yan smiled. 